Now, next one. This, is, this came out recently, that social media, you should love Facebook because fans are worth $136 more than non-fans. Okay, that kind of makes sense. But the question is, is that attributed to Facebook or something else? Yeah, so one of the things, and this is not to um, in any way put down Facebook because we think it's amazing, but if you look at this, what we asked, it, the chart here is a little bit hard to read. After becoming a subscriber, after becoming a fan, after becoming a follower, are you more likely to purchase from a brand? For email, 27% said they were. For Facebook, 17% said that they were more likely to purchase. And for Twitter, actually 37% said that they were more likely to purchase from a brand. Does this mean that Facebook's not effective? No. It means that they were a fan before they became a fan. They were already buying stuff, and that's the Coke analogy, right? If you've ever walked into somebody who has a Coke room in their house, I think it is physically impossible for those people to consume any more Coke. Although I have tried with Diet Coke. That's right. I have, I have tried. So, yes, they are worth a lot more. The value, then, is it's the first time that we've been able to kind of see all these people and pull them together in an online community, and now it's our challenge as marketers to mobilize them and to get, get to go and... and share and become evangelists to their friends. Turn them into wind turbines. That's the answer here. So, the, what we would say about this one, it's plausible, right? The fan is worth more to you, but it's chicken in the egg, right? Did the expression of being a fan change the behavior, or was the behavior already changed and then they batched themselves and they identified and they stuck up their hand and say, I think your brand is awesome. So, some plausibility, but be very cautious of anything that's telling you what a fan or a follower is worth. Because how many of us can really measure that value in our own programs right now? Now, the last one. Oh, my God, Twitter is ending because John Mayer quit, quits Twitter. <laughs> Demi Lovato quits Twitter. Jessica Simpson doesn't want to tweet. It's a vicious place out there. So Twitter must be dying. It's dying, people. A plus K, you know, he's out there. But is he tweeting as much as he did Oprah? Oprah's not tweeting as much as she did. All right, the bloom is off the rose. Last year was an amazing year of free media, earned media, Twitter. The fastest growing channel of this nature in the history of the Internet. But don't take the actions of one person to show a trend in the whole channel. Absolutely. I mean, one of the things that we clearly heard is Twitter is not for everybody, right? There are people who absolutely dive in with everything that they have. Some people get burned out. Other people continue to just go more and more and more. The important thing is, is that people who are creating content, who are influencing the, the, the loudest voices on the web, the people who are writing product reviews on your website and telling others whether or not it would be good to do business with you, are probably tweeting. Those are the folks that we need to be connecting with and getting excited about. Celebrities may come and go, and celebrities coming is a good thing for Twitter, but it's not necessarily a direct impact on our brands. So this one is busted, all right? But what we've learned through each of these examples is read beyond the headlines. A lot of journalists in the space aren't doing that. Research comes out, they're reading a headline, they're looking at the first number. If you look at how that Facebook chart was covered earlier, we got coverage in Adam Week that said, Facebook, the number one thing people want on Facebook is deals. Well, you know what? The number one thing people want on email is deals. The number one thing that people want on Twitter is deals. That is the deal seeker. That's a huge group. They're out there, right? You've got to go to the next couple of levels to understand the nature of it. You have to read the body copy, for heaven's sakes. You have to check the numbers. Do not just assume you can understand things of this nature in 140 characters. We need depth. So challenge it. Challenge us. Read this stuff. Email us. Ask us questions. We want to have the fire to our feet so we can help you understand how to better use these channels and make passion, and passion consumers, people who want to spread the love out there, as Andy Cernovitz would say. Now.